dear colleagues, I hope you are still uh, f fresh after three days of uh, conference designed by Bart Fokens <laughs> and myself a bit. So, <laughs> Uh, I will try to keep my forces for next 15 minutes. Um, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present you the cross-sectoral cooperation as a basis for contemporary river corridor management, the Drava River as a case study, a very complicated title for, I believe, uh, I tried to make a very simple presentation of what is still a very uh, uh, a huge project uh, which ran uh, for two years, still, uh, I would say, um, in the frame of a healthy, um, ambitious uh, 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 steps. So, uh, I, I prepared a presentation uh, in, uh, in five pieces uh, in order to not to burden you too much with the information. I would like to explain to you why we choose uh, a Drava River as a case study in the project, uh, why, what, what, what were the approaches of the SE River project in terms of contemporary river corridor management. This abbreviation you will see many times in, oops, sorry, in, in my presentation today. This one, contemporary river corridor management. Uh, how we approach to, to, to the solutions on five pilot areas and on the Drava River International Run. What were the applications and the outcomes of the project and what in fact, after all efforts, time and money spent is the contribution to the Drava River management of this contemporary river corridor management, which we consider as a new uh, initiative in integrated river basin management. And at the end, uh, we will say some words about way forward. What is next after we will finish the project? So uh, you heard already a presentation about the SC River project on the first day of this conference by our dear colleague Bruno Mazzorana. And uh, he introduced you already to the uh, Drava, River, Drava River Vision Declaration, which was signed by 100, uh, in fact, which was uh, drafted by 120 participants of uh, the International Symposium and then signed by five high officials of all five riparian countries. Uh, the aim of, of the Drava River Vision Declaration was that Drava River should become in the short term or medium term a contemporary river, which is a river uh, uh, which fulfills all demands uh, of, of the European legislation that is Water Framework Directive, Flood Directive, uh, uh, birds directive, habitat directive, and some other directives. And on the other hand, you can still fish in it, you can swim in it, you can enjoy in it, and you can, you can feel safe along it. So uh, quite a heavy task for any river, not only for Drava River. Next reason why we selected Drava River, uh, even if we would not have the, the, the declaration, uh, would be its um, longitudinal profile. Now what a longitudinal profile has to do with stakeholders. Well, the story is a very simple one. Drava River is, is an alpine river that means it, it makes, it makes uh, cross sections like this, for example. This is only the scheme, it's not, it's not the natural situation. That means the, the width of the river corridor we will play with in this presentation is increasing from upper run to lower run from, from the incised alpine river, very steep river, to flatland river. That means Drava River offers very, very much different, um, I would say, um, problems, stakeholders, sectors involved, depending on the portion of the river you are dealing with. That means not only the portions of the rivers, but also the countries involved with different experiences, with different level of development of the communication, cross-sectoral cooperation and stakeholder involvement. Some of them, one of them, uh, half of a project even was not a EU member. So it's, a, it's, we have more than one reason to select Drava River as a case study for the project we did. Drava River has floods like usual river has. And uh, uh, these are in last last period uh, appearing more, uh, more, more, more often or uh, like in terms of all changes which are happening. So floods are one of the next reasons why Drava River shall be selected. And 
Uh, one more thing is, Alexander already discussed this issue, Drava River is uh, in regional scale one of the most utilized rivers with 23 hydropower plants uh, in the region. So um, you know that the hydropower is a strong sector in all terms, it has uh, its own uh, directive behind, this, it, it, behind it, and it's a strong player and a strong stakeholder. Now, okay, we, we have uh, we have a declaration on board, we have the Case River on board, but uh, what in fact is needed? When we applied the project, when we were in fact drafting the idea for application of the project, we knew already and uh, we confirmed this later with the Grammy of the project that uh, we are facing some problems which obviously call for a contemporary river corridor management approach, which in fact is uh, approached based on a combined top-down and bottom-up method, cross-sectoral communication and stakeholder involvement from the very beginning of the project process or initiative, as we were discussing also last year in the, uh, in the conference here. Uh, here in the red lines, I would not read them all because we don't have the time, are the main five main problems regarding regarding the experiences, regarding the practical knowledge uh, available, regarding the, the capability of manage the antagonisms among uh, 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 conservation and development interests, the, the lack of the skills and operational methods in cross-sectoral cooperation, consensus building processes of stakeholder involvement, and issues related to managing a transboundary river. So it was clear that we need a project uh, as, a, as a successor of, of the Drava Declaration, which would aim to solve some, at least some of these problems. Uh, still, we, we, were, we faced obvious limits of time and sources available after we got the SE River project, two years only. Therefore, uh, we knew that we cannot achieve our goals or we cannot be too ambitious. We may not be too ambitious. We may not work in detail along the whole Drava River. Therefore, we selected five pilot areas in each of the, the Drava River and State 1. So here we have the Romantic Italians upstream, very tiny, two very tiny ones. Then we have Austrian pilot area. Then we have Slovenian pilot area, Croatian, and uh, look, the flatty Hungarians, how big they are here. The Hungarian one. So we selected uh, with a very, very precise logic the five pilot areas, and afterwards also decided that with the knowledge gathered with the granny of the project on these five pilot areas, we will try to extend the knowledge along the whole course of the Drava River and to find uh, the, uh, some answers on questions within the project also for the, the, the whole Drava River run. Uh, regarding the selection of the five Drava River pilot areas, let me just tell you that uh, from the very beginning of the project, from the application on, we, we uh, communicated with the partners that they shall select pilot areas on the locations where several sectors are involved or they have, or several sectors have interests uh, uh, on water use or on, uh, uh, on let's say, int uh, introduction into the uh, uh, river corridor. So these are the sectors. These you have here the Italian, Austrian, Slovenian, Croatian, and Hungarian section. You can see that diversity of sectors is quite high. So remember the longitudinal profile and the sectors involved. Now, the innovation, one of the innovations of the project uh, is the term river corridor, which we, do not, we did not invent. River corridor is a, is a very well-known scientific discipline, uh, not this, sorry, discipline category, and uh, it is much more than water management, and it is much more than nature protection. It is one of the four, uh, four uh, uh, parts of the landscape ecological structure of the surface of the earth. It has clear roles. Therefore, it has to be respected when we are, uh, uh, in one way, when we are uh, uh, talking about integrated river water management. Uh, uh, so, it has also some other roles, 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, s some, some other uh, uh, roles can be landscape ecological category, spatial planning category, water management, and so on. Just to show you what is the difference, of course, on this picture, the green is the border of the Drava River uh, catchment area in Slovenia, and the red here below is the river corridor uh, uh, of the Drava River in, in Slovenia. This one here, this section, is the pilot area. So it is um, land, as Bruno Mazzorana explained to you, it's a portion of the land uh, on the both sides of the rivers where you can uh, recognize the, uh, the uh, water processes. Now, uh, what and how to do was the next question. So we have the five uh, Drava River pilot areas and uh, uh, we decided that, uh, in fact, uh, as a project, we will determine only, only the technical procedure and the available techniques of work to the partners. We will let them select their own technical goals. Technical goal can be flat, increased flat protection, can be uh, 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 improved regional spatial planning, can be uh, uh, integrated uh, water management. This, this differs from, differed from uh, uh, pilot area to pilot area. Uh, and then uh, after we defined this tech common technical procedure, which all the partners followed. Uh, we also led the partners to define and apply their own uh, modus of uh, process, depending on, on the uh, technical goal. Uh, and that they articulate also the stakeholder agreement at the end of the job. Uh, so, uh, basically, we all had to, de to define the pilot areas uh, the, there uh, to, to make analysis on environmental, social and economic views of, of the river corridors, to make competitive analysis towards the Drava River Vision goals, uh, uh, to make analysis of sectoral administrative procedures, to define the pilot area relevant sectors. It, in one word, to, to recognize the, the characteristics of the river corridors on five pilot areas. Available techniques of work were indoor and outdoor expert work and analysis, and then five national Drava River analysis uh, uh, report, which was done for capacity, uh, five capacity building seminars, and then dialogues, targeted meetings, interviews, discussions, consultations, field trips with sectoral and cross-sectoral expert organizations and indiv individuals. All this goes, in fact, in this one, in the process. The mixture of the process was upon the partners in countries. Sorry, okay, I have to finish this. So, uh, just to show you the, the, the color, uh, the, I mean, this was the, the approach in Slovenia from the very basic uh, analysis of the river corridor uh, to, to the end of the process where we, in fact, agreed about the, the, the uh, development concept of the river corridor, which is a background for the spatial planning and regional development concept. This was the process, this is the scheme of the process Again, uh, a SEK study, how we did it, you can see I will not explain it to you, it's too long. It's a complex work with stakeholders and sectors. Uh, and then uh, we applied this on the five pilot areas. You have been informed about in the sections until now. So similar approaches, but different goals and uh, techniques applied. Uh, to conclude, uh, uh, the other thing we, we agreed about is that we will, beside, beside the, the work on the pilot areas, uh, work also on the uh, international run approach, a Drava River international run approach, and we, uh, by, uh, uh, I would say, robust, uh, robust uh, method, we discussed uh, these issues uh, with, with the Grammy of the project and came out of 130 environmental problems to 17 types of river corridor management problems to, 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 in order to finish with seven international key Drava, is, Drava river corridor management issues, and these are here, which we will propose to be communicated on the bilateral level. So altered flow, flood risk, sediment balance processes, river regulation, river and ecology, water quality and pollution risk, drought which will be then, uh, the solutions for these issues will be proposed in Joint Drava River Action Plan. This is just a table to show you that we did really a robust method, method. we did not do anything out of the blue, uh, 
and uh, to conclude what is then the, the, the contribution of the uh, SE River approach to the management of the Drava River, we have uh, reached consensus on future management on, of the five pilot river areas. We have a uh, consensus about the Drava River International Run Action Plan, which is still in elaboration. What shall be do, which uh, issues shall be communicated and, and elaborated. We have increased awareness of, and support of all affected stakeholders and the wider public on river corridor management. We increased knowledge and skills of experts working in the field of river corridor management. We increased trust and knowledge. We spoke about trust many times in this conference. Uh, uh, and knowledge of stakeholders, and we agreed about future cooperation by, by a list of over of 30 follow-up projects uh, uh, regarding the Drava River issues. The last one, so what shall be the way forward? Uh, uh, in the upper part of the slide, you see again what we agreed on, uh, on the pilot areas and on the international Drava River scale. Below is the more important message from the SC River, Project so international commissions should enable a joint platform to support further development of the uh, co uh, contemporary river corridor management. Bilateral water man management commissions shall enable a transboundary communicational and operational platform for the key drama management issues. Ministries shall utilize the achieved results of the SE River in their sectoral plans, policies, and programs. Public agencies and institutions shall further develop practical knowledges and sophisticate the, the uh, uh, invented approaches. Regional development agencies shall support and broadly utilize the approach and the achievements of it in, the mission, in their missions and documents. NGOs shall contribute constructive knowledge and dialogue, not only demands, and local communities shall take an integrated active part in the uh, contemporary river corridor management. So I tried to explain to you what we achieved, uh, what approaches we took on the five pilot areas along the Drava River and along the whole international run of the Drava River in two years of time of the SE River project by inventing the new area of, uh, of work. This is the river corridor and by proposing the new initiative, this is the contemporary river corridor management. Thank you very much.